Hey there, travelers. Today we're talking about an animal that's known for its silky soft white wool. Well, hot diggity, finally it's my turn. Woohoo! You're talking about my hair. Sorry, Grandpa Trav. Today we're talking about the Angora rabbit. Dog, never you darn rabbits, and you're so stinking cute. You're lucky to never get my The Angora rabbit is one of the oldest domesticated rabbits, and in addition to the Angora rabbits, we also have Angora cats and Angora goats. That's because they were all domesticated in Ankara, which is historically known as Angora. Ankara, Angora. Let's see what they did there. And if you're looking for Ankara on a map, stop what you're doing! Because Ankara is now a part of the country Turkey. Angora rabbits are bred primarily for their wool, which is soft and silky. At only 11 microns in diameter, it's finer and softer than cashmere. Yeah, fashion. You got it, Angora. And their wool grows so fast that they have to be shorn every three to four months. To look that good, maintenance is a must. Yeah. Regardless of breed, all Angara rabbits must be monitored closely to prevent wool block, a potentially lethal condition in which their digestive tracts become clogged with hair. Proper diet is also crucial in lowering their susceptibility to this condition. Ugh, a well-balanced meal does the body good, brother! Oh! Ugh. Must be allergic to something, but I bet it's not the Angora rabbit. They don't possess the same allergy-causing qualities that most other animals have. Now there are four official Angora rabbit species recognized by the American Rabbit Breeder Association. English, French, Giant, and Satin. What separates these breeds? Glad you asked, travelers. Let me tell you. English rabbits. These are the smallest of the Angora rabbits and are mainly used for pets. The reason being is they have this cute little adorable face that resembles a puppy or a teddy bear. That doesn't look like my cute teddy bear Bernard. French. The French Angora rabbit is one of the larger ones. What they're known for is having a nice, clean, and hairless face, front paws, and little ruffs of hair on their back legs. Giant Angora! These behemoth Angora rabbits are the largest of them all. They weigh in at about 12 pounds. And who would have thought they're actually bred in our own backyard in Totten, Massachusetts? The Satin Rabbit. The Satin Rabbit doesn't produce as much wool as the other. This trait is being selectively bred upon because they have soft and silky wool. Now their hair should be very silky and very soft. The satin angora has a much lower guard hair count and their hair can become easily tangled. Lather, rinse, repeat. Say it with me, lather, rinse, repeat. The average rabbit can live for about seven to 12 years indoors as long as they're well taken care of. But out in the wild searching for food, that lifespan goes down a bit. Thanks for checking us out this week, travelers. In the spirit of Easter, we chose the Angora rabbit. And we at Trav's Travels hope you had an incredible holiday. If there's any animals you want to learn more about, email us at asktravstravels at gmail.com. If you like learning about animals with us, make sure to share our video with your friends and family. Keep on traveling. Try it again. Yeah. Um, do you need a glass of water or something? Yeah, dude, am I super groggy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you.